Hi, I'm Dr. Bachnowski at Lowell Animal Hospital. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about dog preventative care. What information does my veterinarian need to know about my dog's lifestyle before providing preventative care recommendations? So some of the things we would want to know is what diet your pet is on, what level of activity um, they have, um, potential travel that you might do with your pet, and kind of what their natural environment is. You know, are they exposed to a lot of other pets outside, or are they just strictly kind of indoor and only go outside for potty, those sorts of things. What recommendations will my veterinarian make when it comes to my dog's preventative care? So essentially, um, you know, we're going to want to do a yearly exam and just check everything out um, by looking and feeling, uh, palpating your pet. We're going to want to talk about preventative care, um, vaccines, doing fecal checks, making sure we don't have intestinal parasites. Um, some other things would be, you know, we'll, we'll talk about diet recommendations, um, brushing their teeth, um, grooming, things like that. What's the difference between insurance and a wellness plan? So insurance is kind of what you might think it is. Um, typically, there's a lot of outside companies that offer insurance for your pet. Um, each one kind of has their own payment plans and things that they cover, so it's very important to make sure you understand each insurance plan um, before you choose. Um, and basically, they will cover certain uh, care for your pet um, individually. So. Wellness plans, um, we don't actually do a wellness plan here at Lowell, but some veterinary clinics have um, a system where you pay a certain amount uh, per year, what have you, and vaccines will be included or, or something along those lines. How can I keep my dog safe while in a car? So it's very important never to have your dog um, in the back of a pickup truck, whether they're leashed or not. We see lots of animals um, with traumatic injuries from things like that. Um, and then also, you know, having your dog looking outside the window, it's really not recommended. Again, you know, you might think your pet's not going to jump, but if they do, um, obviously we'll, we'll see some trauma related to something like that. So ideally, you know, in, in a crate in the car or there's certain harnesses that um, are attached to like a, a belt buckle, something like that would be recommended. Why should I keep my dog on a leash when in public? Um, of course you want to keep your dog on a leash in public for not only for their safety, I mean you, you, don't, you never know if your dog is, the, even if you think it's not going to run, you know, they might see something, a pet, you know, a, a person, what have you, it might run, run from you obviously, run into traffic, those sorts of things. Um, but it's also easier to control your dog if another animal were to approach it. What can I do to keep my house and yard pet safe? Um, I mean, ideally having a fenced-in yard would be great. Um, you definitely want to avoid certain types of toxic plants. Um, gosh, uh, <laughs> I think that's ideally. Um, a pool, swimming pools, you know, making sure that they can't uh, get in the pool if, if, um, if that's an issue. So, What are the most common dog health conditions that could be prevented with a good wellness plan? Um, I mean, there's, there's, there's innumerable um, things to talk about. Um, certainly infectious diseases through vaccines, um, very easily preventable. Um, internal and external parasites are easily preventable. Um, we often, you know, want to prevent things like obesity, um, dental disease. Those are all things we typically address in your average yearly exam. Thanks, Dr. Bracknowski.